Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is looking at an alternative to file-based databases in our, our application um, or just something to hold, you know, some data for your application or your game or whatever. Um, uh, just simple text-based, I'm sorry, not file-based, but text-based databases uh, from a text file and uh, XML file, which we've done in the past. And if you haven't seen that, you can go back and look at some of those videos. But these XML files are a little bit harder to parse, and they take up more space um, than would a text file to be able to parse. But a text file is really not organized in a way to make it easy for you to access the information. A much better way, I believe, to do this, uh, especially when you're dealing with uh, objects and when you're dealing with object-oriented programming, is to actually use JSON files, which actually, in, in .NET 2013 and .NET 2015 and, um, and the .NET framework, the, 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 especially the newest .NET framework, you already have things up in there to be able to use JSON. Uh, JSON is a JavaScript object notation, basically, that's what it means. And it's a lightweight data interchange format. It's very easy for humans to read it and to write it. It's e it's uh, to me it's easier than XML. You don't have to worry about certain formats as far as having two tags to be able to identify an object. Uh, and it's also easy for machines to read and to parse. So to generate and to parse. So not only do you have something that's easy for the system to generate and to parse, you also have it easy for you to read and to write. So that's the perfect scenario we want to deal with because we don't want to have to be fighting with a, you know, with the database or with the file used that we're storing our stuff with. I mean, you shouldn't have to be an expert to be able to save information, but save and write information. So uh, that's why we're going to learn to use JSON. And you can go online and search a whole bunch of stuff up for JSON, and a lot of people use it. And um, Let's get started. So I'm going to go over here and start a new project, uh, WPF, and you call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this uh, example. I hit OK. So let's start this off from the beginning. Let's say we have some interface here that we want to be able to take in. Uh, information from the database first name and last name so I'm gonna go ahead and create this text box I'm gonna double click in there and delete the text in there I'm gonna select this and change the name to txt uh, first name and I'm going to go ahead and alt drag this down I'm gonna change this to txt last name All right, so I have my two text boxes here, and just so we can know what is what, I'm gonna put a label here. No need to name it, but I can fill this in. And I'm gonna Alt, drag that down. All right, so I have my first name text box, my last name text box. Now, the, the first thing I need to be able to do in order to be able to use JSON is to import the the um, the package I'm going to need. We're not going to use JSON.NET, which we could. There's two different ways we can do this by for, for two different ways we can serialize and deserialize JSON files. Uh, we're going to use the one that's already in the .NET uh, framework. I can now see all my files. I want to go to my references going to right click that I'm going to add a reference the reference I'm looking for here is the uh, system.web.extension so I can actually start typing that system.web and the extensions is here select that click OK and there it is right there now I need to import it into my main window so I'm going to go up here at the top and I'm going to import the system.web. Uh, system.web.script. 
serialize. So that's the one I want. I, I'm also going to be dealing with files, so I'm going to have to import the system. Dot io system. Okay, so these are the only two I need. I'm going to go ahead and create a, um, a Java, uh, JavaScript serializer. So, dmser as JavaScript serializer right there equals new. Oops. No, not serial, sorry, Java. All right, from there I'm going to go ahead and create a sub new. Uh, so from there, now what I want to be able to do is create another class that I'm going to be using for my uh, JSON file. But first let me create the JSON file. So I'm going to right click my my project in the solution. I'm going to go to add and I'm going to new item. Over here I'm just going to type JSON. So it comes up with this JSON file. Select that one. You can name it whatever you want. Maybe you had yours called game. Whatever. Hit add. And this is how a JSON file looks. And basically, all I want is the first name and the last name of the user, let's say. Um, so I first start typing. This is a string. First, first name. Make sure there's no spaces. And then I, and I put the colon there. And then I put the, the value. So I'm like, hey, that's the first name. And then I'm going to put a comma here for the next value. And I can keep on going this way. Uh, not the value, the, the next uh, the next property. And I'm going to put a colon here. Then close that. All right. So now I have this object here, and it has a first name and a last name. Uh, JSON can also do arrays. It can do variables like. Um, uh, integers and booleans and that sort of stuff too so but we're not getting into that we just want a really quick understanding of how we can store our information and pull that information from this JSON file I'm not writing a file so I'm just making the file later on we'll talk about actually writing the file and writing to this same file so I have my JSON file here it is here go back to my main window here what I want to do right now is I want to um, select this and make sure I'm in the properties of this so if I hit properties this part should pop up if you don't see it in the first place I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that to embedded resources and then I'm gonna go to always copy once I have that now that I can access this inside of my application I'm gonna go in the back end now and now I'm gonna go ahead and make the class that's gonna be using that I'm gonna be using to be able to populate uh, I'm going to populate the class using that JSON file. So I'm just going to make a, a class here in the same file instead of making a whole new file and then the class just so you can see everything that's going on here. Uh, oh, let's see. Player. And that's going to have a... So that's the first name. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the last name. Okay, so I have a first name and I have a last name here. Nothing else. That's my class. Now what I want to be able to do is create a instantiate the class and then grab that that JSON file and then print it out to the uh, the text boxes that we have on on in our window. So I'm just going to say uh, let's put a note here. Should actually, yeah, let's put a note here. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so I have a player here, and now I'm going to get a link. I'm, I'm going to get the information from the the JSON file. And I'm just going to give it the name that we have over here, the game, since it's part of my, it's going to go in the bin file, so I can just type the name there. It's not in a separate folder or anything like that, so this should be fine. From there, I'm going to go ahead now and serialize it. I'm sorry, I'm going to deserialize it. Deserializing is reading. Serializing is basically writing. You can think of it that way. So I'm going to say uh, player A equals CR, which is serializing, deserializing. Okay, now I can go ahead and once uh, it's inside of here, all this information, I, I pull this file, this string, and I put it inside of here. So I say this is the class I'm using. This information is going to go inside the class. I make sure that these names actually, this first name and this last name, it, it complies with this first name and this last name. And this is the string that I'm using, this file. This is the file I'm using, and it's going to be of this type. From there, I deserialize that, and I put it into this new uh, class uh, this new class of, of, of player. So now I can go ahead and put that in the txt first name dot text equals I'm gonna say uh, player one what is this player a player a dot first name. I don't think I have to put the string because it's already a string, so I'm not really worried about that. And then I'll say last name. Okay, that should work. Let's see if we get any errors. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And there you go. Pulling directly from the file, we were able to take from that JSON file and bring it right into our interface. Uh, so later what I'm going to show you how to do is serialize one and these, uh, to be able to read and to write to the same file. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, hopefully I didn't go too long. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me or put a note up there, up here on the, on the YouTube channel.